In search of that million dollar smile, believe it or not, some people are having zirconium put on their teeth. CBS News' Lisa Siegel shows us. Cubic zirconia can add just the right sparkle to your ears or draped on your neck. But to your teeth? I didn't realize that they could use that in dental work. That smile you see on Sharon Abbey is courtesy of Zirconia. I had always had this wonderful smile since I was a child, but I saw it aging so quickly, and I, I needed to do something about it. Well, it's not exactly the same as cubic zirconia, but it actually comes from a similar um, structure, yes. Dennis Catherine on at the Image Center in Huntington Beach believes zirconia fills a gap because it's almost as strong as metal. Zirconia is very ideal for people who need stronger material, too much of the tooth structure is missing, or the tooth is missing and they need an implant or they need a bridge. So take Sharon Abbey, for example, who got a big no when she asked for veneers. Before zirconia, her mouth was filled with restored teeth, porcelain fused to metal, which left a grayish tint. Now, with porcelain fused to zirconia, she has a beautiful, white, strong smile. I do get a lot of compliments, so it makes me very happy. <laughs> Orem Ceramic that made Sharon smile sent us an example of the difference between a set of veneers and porcelain-covered zirconia, and we couldn't tell them apart. It allows us as dentists to be more creative and it gives us more flexibility in restoring our patients' teeth. In Huntington Beach, I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News. Hmm, that going on the other day we had that Golden May facial.